What's up everyone? I'm back here with a quick video for you guys. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the Spigen Tough Armor case for the iPhone 10 and 10s. So I did pick this up off of eBay, but it was through the Spigen company itself. And the reason I did that is because for whatever reason, you can actually get uh, these cases significantly cheaper through buying it on eBay uh, rather than buying it directly from um, the company's website. I don't know why that is. So this particular case I picked up for, I believe, about $15 with free shipping. So again, really good deal. And if you go to the website or the company's website, I believe they are charging between $20 and $30 for the case. So again, I don't know why they sell it cheaper on eBay, but hey, I mean, that's good for the consumer. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so this is the Tough Armor version. Um, there is a Slim Armor version and as well as a whole slew of other um, versions of this case that you can get. Uh, but this is their Tough version. So let's go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like here. And I did get the gunmetal color. So you can pick this case up um, in multiple different colors. I believe you can pick it up in matte black, silver, um, gunmetal, as you can see here. So it's kind of a cool gunmetal color. Um, rose gold, I'm, I believe standard champagne gold. Um, and I believe there might be one or two other colors. I'm not sure. But those are the main ones. And then right here, you can see it out. There we go. Uh, the kickstand. And basically what that does, you can see, you can set it down and instantly you can prop your phone up in landscape orientation. I do not believe that this will work in portrait. As you can see, if you try to do it, it'll just kind of tip over so it doesn't work. So this is only to be used in that landscape orientation. So let me go ahead and put the phone in the case now. Uh, so the phone I'm putting in here is actually an iPhone 10. So the way you put it in, you just kind of squeeze it in towards the top and work your way down towards the bottom. And you can see there. Did you accidentally summon me? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, that's how you put it into the case. Um, and as you can see, it has a nice um, kind of an edge above the screen to help protect from drops face down. So if you happen to lay the phone face down or drop it face down, um, it's not going to impact or come in contact rather with the glass itself. It's going to hit the case first. Unless you end up dropping the phone on a rock, which in that case, you're kind of screwed <laughs> and your screen's more than likely going to be and completely shattered and the case is going to do you absolutely no good. So try not to drop your phone on a rock. <laughs> anyway, so but yeah, so there's what the phone looks like in the case. Again, the, there's the cutout there. There's the camera. And what's nice is the case does make the camera bump flush, even a little bit inset which prevents the lenses on the camera from getting scratched and or scuffed up from being in your pocket or whatever. But that's basically it. I will provide a link in the description below uh, if you guys are interested in picking this case up for yourselves. And so yes, uh, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, hit that subscribe button right down below. It helps out the channel greatly. And hit that thumbs up button as well. That also just lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content. And lastly, if you guys have any questions, comments, or just want to have a discussion of any kind, drop those down below, and we can certainly get back to them. So yeah, with that all being said, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.